Hey guys, Delcy here, and uh, this is just a quick video demonstrating my awesome XP farm. So uh, I've left it going for 10 minutes, um, and as you can see, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, times 3, which is 18 zombie spawners. On the other side, I have 18 uh, skeleton spawners, and we take the lift down. We are <laughs> it's lagging like hell, but uh, this is what we get. <laughs> um, all these zombies lined up frame rate drops massively and then we just get to go like this and knife them all up so uh, basically I'm playing on the world 847 and uh, what I did was I went around and I got 18 uh, zombie spawners using the silk touch silk touch pick um, they have a plugin that allows you to pick up spawners using a silk touch pick and um, I think you could also buy spawners at one point but I never did that and uh, then I just made this room and basically what happens is they all spawn in there. I put two spawners on top of each other just to guarantee that there will be zombies spawning uh, at a constant rate. And then they fall 22 blocks I think um, <laughs> to this little room down here. And then I just get to knife them completely up. And so um, 10 minutes of... I don't know, time, I'm not sure how much XP it actually serves for, so this is going to be a test, but, whoa, is that someone next to me? It is, oh, it's a skeleton. The skeletons seem to escape, they don't actually escape, like, physically, but their bodies disappear, um, and get out of here, so, you know, it's kind of awkward, because you, you run into them a lot. <laughs> so, uh, we're almost done with these zombies. There's a whole heap more XP, though. Um, you can't actually pick it all up just by standing here. You need to, um, you have to kill the zombies first, and then you have to pick up all the rest of the XP. And uh, it drops a hell, hell of a lot of um, <laughs> rotten flesh. Not uh, Nothing you can do with it. Uh, we've got an incinerator in just so that we can get rid of it. But uh, thankfully, in 1.2, so I'm told by all these snapshot videos, um, zombies will start dropping rare items. So I don't know what these rare items will be. Um, obviously, they should be something good, considering they're going to be rare. And uh, that means that like these zombie EXP farms will actually have some really good use. Uh, oh, we got the XP coming on to us. <laughs> so 10 minutes of... Um, spawning has currently got us at least 20 uh, XP. I'm thinking about 22. Uh, I can't actually see and I want to kill this last zombie, don't I? So, uh, did I kill him? I did. We can now enter in, grab all the rotten flesh, any XP that uh, we haven't got yet. And uh, we're still going up. We're at 23. And uh, mind you, oop, come on. <laughs> mind you, there's a skeleton spawner over here. And whilst it doesn't spawn as many, as the um, zombie would have, because I was sitting right near the zombie, it spawns quite a few. So uh, we've got 25 levels of XP for 20, uh, 10 minutes of just standing here, doing nothing. Um, we can now come over and kill the skeletons. You have to use a bow to kill the skeletons. Um, whereas with the zombie, you can use your sword for the skeletons. They shoot arrows at you, and you don't really want to be caught up um, trying to shoot skeletons. So we have this little setup here where they all flow down towards this gap here and um, we just get to shoot arrows into it and it kills them and they drop the XP and they drop their arrows and so we just need to have a bow really and uh, it works quite well it's a lot slower than the zombie one trying to kill them all but um, it, it works and so that's all you can really ask for with a sp XP farm <laughs> is how I see it because uh, on servers it's, it's really hard to come up here and hit them and the skeletons actually start like shooting at you and uh, because there's so many of them, they're not actually hitting me, but they're going to start hitting me now. Um, and they start shooting each other, and it just gets really messy. So uh, by doing this, you can make sure that you kill each skeleton individually. Uh, you're going to get each skeleton's XP, each skeleton's loot, and uh, we just kept to shoot them all up. Um, come on. It takes forever. It's kind of awkward just <laughs> sitting here doing this. Uh, it's always better to use the zombie one and then you get some more XP from the skeleton. But 10 minutes of time waiting gets us about almost 30 levels of XP. So quite a good little um, setup going. Now there's people on this server who have like bigger XP farms. Um, apparently someone's got over 100 spawners in one of them. Um, I only have 32. 
So uh, it's not really comparison, but uh, it's probably the biggest spawner of uh, XP farm I've seen. Like no one on YouTube has, uh, or at least I've seen, because I don't really go looking for videos like this. But um, I've not seen anyone actually make a uh, video about a XP farm of this size, and that's just because generally the only way to get them is via hacks. And so on this server where you can actually get them using plugins, legit, uh, it's quite cool. You know, I like it. So uh, we're going to go and uh, probably should grab some bread just so that I don't die, hopefully. And uh, there's quite a few skeletons left, so I'm not sure I should really... Maybe we should try and get some more to come in here first. Uh, but we have the door there so that when we're done, uh, we can just enter in and pick off the remaining couple of skeletons. Alright. Come on. I think that's pretty much it. It's like none left. So yeah, that's 10 minutes worth. Oh, hello. <laughs> 10 minutes of waiting gets us almost 29 levels of XP. Uh, so it's quite a nice setup and, you know, XP is not a problem for Daosu on this server. Um, if anything, I have too much of it if I actually spend the time um, using this XP farm. It took a while to get set up and everything. And the hardest bit was... Um, <laughs> the actual like setting up like setting up's easy it's the destroying of torches to activate it uh, was the hard bit because I had torches underneath the spawners and then I had to go and destroy them all and uh, as you can imagine mobs started spawning and everything and it just became really awkward uh, but it works really well I'm really happy with it and uh, quite like impressed by its efficiency um, how well it works because I've made really complicated XP farms before and you always find the simpler ones work the best and this is definitely a simple XP farm um, there's nothing complicated about it at all I want to get level 30 I always find level 30 seems to be the best level to just randomly enchant something I enchanted this pick at level 30 and you just get a really nice set of stats for it um, don't know why but you do so uh, we're going to let a couple more zombies spawn, go back down, lag like hell, and get the XP. Hopefully that should be enough. I think it is. Um, come on. Come on. Nope, not quite, but I think we should have enough if we kill these skeletons here. Oops. Bo. <laughs> I wish you could spam arrows, but uh, I'm pretty sure MCMMO. MCMMO. I think that's right. Um, actually prevents you from spamming arrows. Now, what I don't know is, can you enchant over a item that's already been enchanted? So, I want to know if I can enchant this sword that I have, even though it's been enchanted. So we're going to try it, uh, just for the sake of trying. No, nope, it doesn't look like you can. So we'll enchant our bow, because bows are cool enchanted. And uh, we want to do a level 30. Hopefully we'll get one. Otherwise, I might be here all day just trying to find a level 30. Uh, I don't know what you get for level 30, actually. I've never tried it with a bow. Probably just get power. Maybe flame if we're lucky. There it is, level 30. And for a level 30, we get flame 1 and power 4. That is brilliant. Um, power 5, I think, is the highest you can get. But uh, like that is like probably the best you can get. So, I don't know. I, I've basically gone off enchanting things at level 50. And I just do it at 30 these days. And so I just need to spend maybe 10, 15 minutes in this farm and I can get a level 30, anything I want. So uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty cool if you ask me. But uh, anyways, I'm on the World 8.4 server. Uh, link will be in the description if you want to come and check it out. I play on here every now and again. My sister probably plays here more often than I do um, as I'm helping my friends Booster and 10X build a server for Yausch, uh, which is pretty cool. And so I'm taking slightly more heavier role in that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this short video and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.